you're on your own tonight. The gallery can get a bit creepy. It's old. Things rattle. Just do a circuit every now and then and head back to reception when you're tired. If no one tries to break in, call me. Or the police. Actually, police and then me. But you'll be fine. You'll be fine. Have a good night. Welcome to Mernhaven's Unsolved Mysteries. Tonight, we'll be trying to solve the murder of Mernhaven's most famous artist, Mordecai Gray, brutally murdered in his loft last year, on the night of All Hallows' Eve. Gray had been painting six portraitures at the time. They were all suspects, according to Justice Hoon, but Hoon was unable to convict any of them. Could there still be a killer on the loose? Was it Dominic Serum, the lush burlesque dancer? Or Otto Pipistrel, our now famously cancelled ventriloquist? Or perhaps Lilith Rendell, the island's only undertaker? Gray was also painting Sunday Finch, our twinless tennis star, Xavier Hahn the reclusive clockmaker, and finally, Vice Justice Catherine Myers. Perhaps Justice Hoon was covering up for his understudy. We have all the juicy details coming up, but before we discuss those murderous muses, let's delve into the mind of a killer by retracing their footsteps on that fateful day.
you see them too, don't you? successfully charge somebody with murder, you need to prove that they had the opportunity to carry out the deadly deed. So where and when exactly was Mordecai Gray murdered? Here's what we know. At 7 p.m. on the 31st of October, Gray was scheduled to reveal his latest exhibition of portraits at Gallery Agenda. The last time he was seen or heard by anyone was when he delivered the final portraits to the gallery at 3 p.m. He told the gallery manager he had a final errand to run and that he'd be back before the grand opening. But he never came back. According to the coroner, Mordecai was murdered at precisely 7 p.m., the same time his exhibition opened. Where was he murdered? In his artist's loft on Sunvale Parade, the same place the body was found. So it's likely our killer wouldn't have had a corroborated alibi for the time of the murder. Caroline's due to be released on Halloween of all days. She used to wear these clingy cat suits that left nothing to the imagination. I probably won't be here for Halloween though. I usually go hunting. Kincaids? Well, they were buying up plots from Merlers and selling them on for extortionate fees. Demand outstripped supply, so they started murdering people off, forging papers to burial grounds. It's cremation or bust if you're a new resident nowadays. There's just no space. I'm definitely a foodie. Money was um, a bit tight when I was younger and it instilled me with this kind of quick or hungry mentality.
they should have warned him. Whatever made all of those miners get sick was still down there. I couldn't afford to do anything about it, so they just got away with it. Apparently, dropping out of a leading role a week before opening doesn't go down too well in the West End. I am not going to blow it this time. I've got another audition on the 1st of November. A friend of mine pulled some strings. I'm excited by the thought of my portrait hanging in the gallery. Who knows, it could be worth millions one day. I was on the cover of our West End musical, so I must have a pretty face. I'm definitely a foodie. Money was um, a bit tight when I was younger and it instilled me with this kind of quick or hungry mentality. I getting a portrait. They needed a drunken philanderer. Is it just about the three gold norks? Smooth. What? It's not a humble brag. No, it's a basic brag. They're divorced. Don't know where my dad is. Screwing his way across the planet, I should imagine. Like father, like son. I, uh, I don't want to kill the mood or anything, but my manager says if this portrait makes me look stupid, she's going to sue. You know, Daphne, she's hardcore. Doesn't want anything to, you know, affect my fame. If my parents had used gift bags instead of wrapping paper, they'd still be alive. I don't really celebrate Christmas anymore. Father said it looked like he'd been poisoned. Who could do such a thing? Mother found him in the garden. We weren't even allowed to see him. No. But we share Orlando between us now, don't we? And he really is the most spoiled cat. Never fight, do we? 
I always think that we were forced to spend so much time apart before we were born that we've been making up for it ever since. Our parents go to the same party every Halloween. I'm not sure we'll be attending this year, though. Things got weird last year. Half the island will be there, though, so good luck for opening night. Caroline's due to be released on Halloween of all days. She used to wear these clingy cat suits that left nothing to the imagination. I probably won't be here for Halloween, though. I usually go hunting. I'm sorry, I can't make it to the opening. Do you believe in ghosts, Maudie? Halloween is supposed to be the time of year when the spirit world is closest to us. And Melhaven's veil is already pretty thin. I am Xavier Hahn, Melhaven's only clockmaker. And much like my life, my craft is a dying art. Argenta is a complete gem, isn't she? The Argentas and the Myers have been family friends for decades. They took me in after my parents were gone and paid for my tuition in London. Most people think I'd like to move from Vice Justice to Chief Justice, but that's really not the case. My work at the Manor is essential for the world. I told you I wasn't trying to flee the island. I had an audition in Paris on the 1st. Cutting it a bit fine, weren't you? I could have made it if you hadn't stopped me from getting the last boat. And where were you before that, between 4 and 7 p.m.? At home, packing. Can anyone confirm that? No, I live alone. You know where I was. You called me to fetch your body from the hills. Where were you between 4pm and 7pm? In the basement, pickling that tourist. Alone? Yes. It's not really a spectator sport. I was at home. Why? Well, Marcy's gig had been cancelled. I knew there'd be alcohol at the gallery and... I didn't want to tempt myself. When was the last time you drank alcohol? <clears throat> this morning. So by tempt yourself, you mean... <sighs> I didn't want to see his face. Mordecai. I was at home. The whole day? I was preparing for a costume party. On your own? Yes. I was on my own until about half past seven. Can anyone verify your whereabouts on the evening of the 31st of October? My friends. They were with me from around six o'clock. Where exactly? At my house. And they were there the whole time? What were you doing? Talking to ghosts. Well, trying to anyway. I was supposed to go on a hunting trip, but it got cancelled. I just stayed in my house, drink in one hand, rifle in the other. 
waiting for Caroline to come home. So, just to confirm, you never left Merlehaven on Halloween? No. Like I said, I just stayed at my house. Any witnesses? No. Thankfully, Caroline never showed. Have you been home yet? You look... I take it nothing happened last night. If you see anything strange, you let me know. Anything, okay? I'll be in later. Hopefully. I've just had a call from Lord Barnet asking to loan one of Grey's portraits. 
they're having a charity auction, they want a centrepiece. Could you be a love and pick one for me? Just leave it in reception, I'll call in for it. I'll be back tomorrow. I'm a bit disappointed you didn't leave a portrait out for me. Perhaps you forgot? I've picked one anyway. I hope it wasn't your favourite. Maybe you can help me out next time? Okay. Something has changed. Mordecai Gray was subdued before his murder in the most devious of ways, by a debilitating injection to the neck. A toxicology report from the coroner revealed that Gray had been dosed with a near-perfect amount of ketamine, just enough to tranquilize him without inducing a heart attack. So our murderer knew exactly what they were doing. Or maybe they got lucky. Either way, Gray was thought to have staggered around for dozens of seconds, until he finally lost consciousness. The method of delivery is still disputed. Uh, some reports say it was by a syringe, whilst others believe it was a tranquilizer dart, such as the ones favored by boar hunters on Merlin. What does this mean for our investigation, though? Well, the murderer needed access to the drug, a syringe or dart, and perhaps some medical knowledge unless dosage is something they could easily look up on a public worldwide resource electronically. The future is lab-grown meat. If you can eat animal meat, you can eat lab meat. It's exactly the same. Just less murdery. It's a long process, but you get into the rhythm of it. Lots of pipes going everywhere, draining things, and then you pump in the formaldehyde. If you're a mortician, you can't be too squeamish.
Well, it's his heart that gave out in the end. His lungs were so full of soot it couldn't pump hard enough. I had to give him ketamine to help him breathe. Then that made him hallucinate. He said he could hear miners trapped in the walls of his room, scratching to get out. Maybe the problem is I'm still grieving. I lost my dad and my career all in one hit. I never really dealt with it. It feels like there's this black pit in my stomach and it's eating me from the inside out. I've got this insatiable hunger all the time. I've got to get away from this place. It's a long process, but you get into the rhythm of it. Lots of pipes going everywhere, draining things, and then you pump in the formaldehyde. If you're a mortician, you can't be too squeamish. I mean, honestly, if you want to pay for it, you can have it. Do you use people's blood in all your paintings? It's weird, but this little dude can get squeaky in all the wrong places. <laughs> Cry me a river. It's just easier to use a syringe and it stops getting oil everywhere. And you can mainline with it too. I'm fine cutting people and using syringes, but needles were Caroline's thing. I used to spy on her, dancing to old records. She loved the sound of the needle scratching the vinyl. I initially thought my exhaustion was brucellosis from hunting boar in the Algiers. But it's genetic, Mordecai. Von Willebrand's disease. <laughs> Sounds like I'm some kind of promiscuous playboy, doesn't it? <sighs> it's tried, but... I fell in love with my teacher. And I never told her. Kyoko didn't know for one minute where I wanted to place my second hand. <laughs> A clockmaker's joke. Oh, if only life had been different. It's weird, but this little dude can get squeaky in all the wrong places. <laughs> Cry me a river. It's just easier to use a syringe and it stops getting oil everywhere. And you can mainline with it too.
Boxes of old rocks, photos, notebooks, needles, pills. It's all up in his old room. I know I need to get rid of it all. Some of it's pretty musty. I just don't know what to do with it. Oh, that's very kind of you. Please thank Mr. Hahn for me as well. I'm sure Monday will love it. I don't for a second believe a clock can cure her, but I have to humour her. She gets upset if she thinks I'm making fun. Do I have to pay for it? Monday dragged me to a palm reader in Argentina. This woman told us we'd be number one doubles champions within the year, though so far she's a position off. But then again, she also said our palms were different, so maybe she's not as good as she thought she was. We both want to be number one. That's why we play doubles. But, to be brutally honest, if Monday's health meant she couldn't play anymore, I wouldn't be able to give it up. Maybe it's something that medicine can't fix. Maybe she's just broken, like buttons. But Monday's a survivor. I'm not worried. Mm, give me a pin, I don't know, I don't care. Monday's the one that's afraid of needles. We had so many blood tests growing up. I used to do hers for her. She couldn't even look. You're really quite eccentric, aren't you? Well, thank you, kind sir. I accept your offer to make me the number one tennis player in the world, and in return, I will gladly give you some of my blood.
I dreamt I was dancing with a snake. One of those big yellow pythons. Adam was pleading with me to stop, but I couldn't. It felt too good. Like the snake's body was my body. And the more I danced, the stronger I got, twisting around him tighter and tighter until he was choking for breath. And then I woke up. I don't believe what they say on thermodynamics. Nothing on Merlhaven is natural. It's the same with the mines. Dad used to say he'd heard scratching noises down there. Not rats, something else. Life's too short to hold back. If I see something I want, I'm taking it. The future is lab. She's scared of Pip. I can't tell him, but I thought it'd be our second kiss and, and just as our lips were about to touch, she kind of recoiled and she'd seen Pip in the box behind me. I mean, I know some people will get freaked out by puppets, but not her. She kind of made some religious cross motion and she fled. Like Pip was the devil or something. <sighs> Layla, Layla was a fan. Um, we slept together for a while until she got pregnant. I, I mean, I, I probably would have stopped either way. <laughs> the, the kid, um, didn't make it. The pharmacy said you collected syringes and ketamine a few months ago. Those are my dad's. I've been meaning to get rid of them. Why does your dad need ketamine? He doesn't. He's dead. It was for his breathing. And this was something he administered himself? No, I did it. He could barely move by that point. Ketamine is something I neither want nor have access to. Possession of cannabis, though? Yeah, and I already told you why I had that. You found it in a corpse. Yes. Ketamine is not my thing. Why are you asking? Is that what was used on Mordecai? Been offered a lot of things stronger than that. <laughs> Have you had ketamine in your possession? No, I don't do drugs at all, unless they're prescribed. That's hard to believe. Well, it's the truth. Alcohol's my demon, not drugs. Your parents recently obtained ketamine via the pharmacy. Do you know why? Well, you'd have to ask them. But they sometimes use animals as test subjects. Perhaps they needed to anaesthetize them. Do you know where they keep it? In the lab, I presume, in our basement. So you could have access to it if you wanted. If I wanted, but I didn't.
You think the floors are a bit lumpy, right? Huh. Miss Argenta said this place was built on a hellmouth, and I'm pretty sure that's just an old movie reference, but I guess if you see any uh, vampires, then uh, stake them. They don't show a valid ticket. Be careful tonight. They've reopened Mordecai's murder case, and I'm expecting trouble. For you. So, you know, stay safe. Can you do me a favour? I've got someone interested in one of the grey portraits. They want to buy one, but they're just not sure which one. They've asked me to choose, but I think they're all horrible. Can you pick one for me and hang it in reception? Just pick whichever one you fancy or hate the least. I'll be by later to pick it up. Find the crystal ball. Let's talk about Marina Yoshikawa, a professional cleaner who was employed to clear and clean Gray's loft three times a week. He had given her two rules to follow. Firstly, the three cleaning days were not to be known in advance, and Marina was meant to turn up unannounced. Secondly, and this is more interesting, Marina was to only speak in Japanese when working for Gray. Fatefully, Marina turned up to clean on Halloween at 10 minutes past four. She remembers distinctly because the door had been bolted from the inside, and when she asked in Japanese whether she should come back another time, she was shocked to receive a rude dismissal, also in Japanese. 
Mordecai had never spoken to her that way before, so she quickly fled, but on later reflection admitted to Justice Hoon it definitely was not Gray's voice. The voice she heard was not deep enough, and Gray couldn't speak a word of Japanese. However, we can all assume that the murderer could. I don't take any medication at all. Mind over matter. We've got everything under the sun at the manor, though. Our patients are trying to overcome all sorts of addictions. Come closer. Look into my eyes. Deep into my eyes. Listen to my voice. Seburi Malavik. Seburi Malavik. Nod if you understand. We've got nurses for that sort of thing. If you need an injection, our nurses will give it. We don't leave needles lying around, though. don't remember being a patient at the manor for defacing public property. The lighthouse? You don't remember any of it. I'm sure you already know there's ketamine at the manor. Do you have access to it? I have a key, yes. Anything gone missing recently? I don't know. I'd have to check.
London's the only place I know outside of Melhaven. I didn't leave the island until I was 18. When I was younger, I wanted to live in Japan. Maybe I still should. Get as far away from this island as possible. I was seeing in London before my dad died. He was Japanese, like Marina. I couldn't understand a word when we first met, but it didn't matter. We spent all our time in bed. I think it's the happiest I've ever been with anyone. Did you steal my motorbike? I mean, you've taken everything else. I wouldn't have been past you. <sighs> now I can't even earn money as a courier. One day, Pip is gonna rise up from whatever box you've imprisoned him and he's gonna stub you in the neck, Chucky style. Well, you know, unless I tell him not to. London's the only place I know outside of Melhaven. I didn't leave the island until I was 18. When I was younger, I wanted to live in Japan. Maybe I still should. Get as far away from this island as possible. A Japanese couple were in the graveyard last week looking at the tombstones. They kept saying, kawaii. I thought they meant it was sad, but it actually means cute. One day, Pip is going to rise up from whatever box you've imprisoned him and he's going to stub you in the neck, Chucky style. Well, you know, unless I tell him not to. The twin. She's dead, isn't she? And you gave her my clock. I'm not interested in posing for you today. I came here to give you one last chance to explain yourself. Who are you, Mordecai? Did you kill that girl? Kyoko never returned my messages. I suppose she was teaching me a final lesson. To be strong, independent, unerring like time. I'm jealous she moved on without me.
She'd kiss me and maul me any time we met Kyoko. It was clear what she was doing, but Kyoko would smile, and then that's all I could see. Caroline drove her to the docks. That was the last time I saw her. Food for alibis. Jenna joins me for dinner quite a lot and she loves it. Loves it. You can't get what I'm serving anywhere else. Insurance, banking, telecoms. Johnsons didn't need funerals too. They were trying to capitalise on Steve's death. That's why I messed up their mortuary. I, I was angry. A Japanese couple were in the graveyard last week looking at the tombstones. They kept saying, kawaii. I thought they meant it was sad, but it actually means cute. I don't travel a lot. It's all wasted time. I have a lot of connections though. Those background checks came, by the way. Marina's clean as a whistle. Talk to me. I know your mother drowned in the Aurora trials, Maudie. Us witches should stick together, hmm? Justice Hoon lost his marbles years ago. He can barely form a sentence. I've been the head of justice all this time. And it's very efficient. If I need a new law, I simply pass one. I don't travel a lot. It's all wasted time. I have a lot of connections, though. Those background checks came, by the way. Marina's clean as a whistle. I'm born and bred Merlehaven. A Merla. I worked in London for a while, and I've been to Kuwait and Singapore, but that's about it. Kyoko was the traveller. She's originally from Japan.
don't know what that means. I don't speak Japanese. But you could tell it was Japanese. It was a guess. I've watched a lot of anime. Enough to pick up a few phrases? I can say orgato, and that's about it. I find that hard to believe. Well, you've been to a lot of my shows, Detective. Have you learned how to dance yet? <clears throat> uh, usually on the job. Me too. I use an app. So you can speak Japanese? No. But if the app is running, it can translate what they're saying. Can it speak? Sounds a bit mechanical, but it has a voice, yeah. I know enough Japanese to get a woman into bed. Like what? Well, anything to do with beds, hotels, compliments and book downs. You'd be able to speak to a cleaner? Yeah, sure. You need a do not disturb sign, I'm your man. I know enough to get by. Never spoken to Marina? I don't think Mordecai would have allowed it. Did you speak to her? I mean, you should ask her. I don't remember. I can make out some words, but I can't speak any. My teacher was Japanese. Yoko? Yes. She was reported missing by her family some time ago. I told you I wasn't trying to flee the island. I had an audition in Paris on the 1st. Cutting it a bit fine, weren't you? I could have made it if you hadn't stopped me from getting the last boat. And where were you before that, between 4 and 7 p.m.? At home. Packing. Can anyone confirm that? No. I live alone. The pharmacy said you collected syringes and ketamine a few months ago. Those are my dad's. I've been meaning to get rid of them. Why does your dad need ketamine? He doesn't. He's dead. It was for his breathing. And this was something he administered himself? No, I did it. He could barely move by that point. I don't know what that means. I don't speak Japanese. But you could tell it was Japanese. It was a guess. I've watched a lot of anime. Enough to pick up a few phrases? I can say orgato, and that's about it. I find that hard to believe. Well, you've been to a lot of my shows, Detective. Have you learned how to dance yet? <clears throat> Usually on the job. Me too. You know where I was. You called me to fetch a body from the hills. Where were you between 4pm and 7pm? In the basement, pickling that tourist. Alone? Yes. It's not really a spectator sport. Ketamine is something I neither want nor have access to. Possession of cannabis, though? Yeah, and I already told you why I had that. 
You found it in a corpse. Yes. Ketamine is not my thing. Why are you asking? Is that what was used on Mordecai? I use an app. So you can speak Japanese? No. But if the app is running, it can translate what they're saying. Can it speak? It sounds a bit mechanical, but it has a voice, yeah. I was at home. Why? Well, Marcy's gig had been cancelled. I knew there'd be alcohol at the gallery and I didn't want to tempt myself. When was the last time you drank alcohol? <clears throat> this morning. So by tempt yourself, you mean... <sighs> I didn't want to see his face. Mordecai. Been offered a lot of things stronger than that. <laughs> Have you had ketamine in your possession? No, I don't do drugs at all. Unless they're prescribed. That's hard to believe. Well, it's the truth. Alcohol's my demon, not drugs. I know enough Japanese to get a woman into bed. Like what? Well, anything to do with beds, hotels, compliments and book downs. You'd be able to speak to a cleaner. Yeah, sure. You need to do not disturb sign. I'm your man. I was at home. The whole day? I was preparing for a costume party. On your own? Yes. I was on my own until about half past seven. I'm sure you already know there's ketamine at the manor. Do you have access to it? I have a key, yes. Anything gone missing recently? I don't know. I'd have to check. I know enough to get by. Ever spoken to Marina? I don't think Mordecai would have allowed it. Did you speak to her? I mean, you should ask her. I don't remember. Can anyone verify your whereabouts on the evening of the 31st of October? My friends. They were with me from around six o'clock. Where exactly? At my house. And they were there the whole time? What were you doing? Talking to ghosts? Well, trying to, anyway. Your parents recently obtained ketamine via the pharmacy. Do you know why? Well, you'd have to ask them. But they sometimes use animals as test subjects. Perhaps they needed to anaesthetize them. Do you know where they keep it? In the lab, I presume, in our basement. So you could have access to it if you wanted. If I wanted, but I didn't. I was supposed to go on a hunting trip, but it got cancelled. I just stayed in my house, drink in one hand, rifle in the other, waiting for Caroline to come home. So, just to confirm, you never left Merlehaven on Halloween? No. Like I said, I just stayed at my house. Any witnesses? No. Thankfully, Caroline never showed. I've used ketamine for hunting in the past. 
Do you know how much to administer to knock someone out? Yes. I used to be a surgeon. That's not a crime, is it? Would we find any in your house if we looked? You'll need a warrant. I can make out some words, but I can't speak any. My teacher was Japanese. Kyoko? Yes. She was reported missing by her family some time ago. I was at home. The whole day? I was preparing for a costume party. On your own? Yes. I was on my own until about half past seven. Yes. I'm sure you already know there's ketamine at the manor. Do you have access to it? I have a key, yes. Anything gone missing recently? I don't know. I'd have to check. Yes. I know enough to get by. Never spoken to Marina? I don't think Mordecai would have allowed it. Did you speak to her? I mean, you should ask her. I don't remember. Yes. Dead men can't talk, Maudie. Now, be a good boy and put your head back for me. That's it. That's it. Can you believe they've solved Mordecai's murder after all this time? You said it was them. Maybe you should get a promotion. Security guard? Nah, detective more like. Good job. I'll see you when you're next in.
Thank you.